Hey guys, my name's Christina, I'm from Arizona. Installing a hitch on your Honda CRV can take you to some really fun places like camping, bike riding, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. So let's take a look at this easy installation. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. First, we're gonna have to prep the underbody. We're gonna have to lower the exhaust by taking off the two exhaust hanger brackets off of the exhaust. I'm gonna be using a pry bar to grab them off. Over here on the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and lower the exhaust bracket. We'll repeat on the driver's side. Further up on the center of the vehicle, we are gonna have to take off the third rubber isolator, but first we're gonna need to support our exhaust with our strap. Next, we're gonna have to fish our carriage bolts through the access hole to our attachment points. Now we'll repeat on the driver's side. Now that the underbody is prepped and ready, we're ready to put our hitch into place. I'm gonna be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack, but if you don't have one at home, it is a good idea to get a second set of hands as the hitch can get very heavy. We'll be feeding the fish wire through the hitch to prevent the bolt from getting pushed back into the frame rail. We'll repeat the process on the driver's side. Now that we have the fish wire fed through the hitch, we can now raise the hitch into position without worrying about the hardware going back into the frame rail. Next, we're gonna take our provided hardware and put it through the tow hook. We're gonna take our carriage bolt through the hitch and the tow hook with our provided spacer. Then we're gonna take the lock washer and attach it with the nut. We're gonna put our Chronicle tooth washer, teeth side up, We'll go ahead and repeat on the driver's side. Now we're gonna to torque all of our carriage bolts down to manufactured specification using our torque wrench and a 17 millimeter socket.
go ahead and repeat on the passenger side. The bolt on the tow hook is gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket. Now that the hitch is in place, we will be putting our rubber hangers back onto our exhaust. I'm gonna be using some soapy water to help ease insulation. It's on. We'll go ahead and repeat on the driver's side. Now that we have the vehicle on the ground, let's get you guys some important measurements. We do have a two inch receiver. From the top of the inside of the receiver to the floor, it's gonna be 13 inches. The hitch does run flush with the bumper, so from the center pinhole to the end of the bumper, it's gonna be two inches. That's gonna help you guys determine length, rise, and drop of your hitch accessories. Now that your hitch is installed, you guys are ready to hit the outdoors. Thanks for watching guys, be safe and have a great day. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.